Okay, so now we're here in Final Cut Pro 10, and as you see, I have different files here in the window, which I didn't have in Adobe Lightroom at the time. This is more recent stuff here, so you can see it creates all images here. You click on one, another one, another one. So, how do you take all these images and put in your timeline? So, what you do as soon as the uh, spinning wheel of death stops here. Okay, so Spoon with Death has stopped. So I do is I'll go ahead and take some stuff like uh, turn shot back in August here. It's already been color corrected. So we'll take these files here and we'll go and drop them in a timeline. Okay, so here I have three clips selected for the moment here. As you can see, it's all images. So how do I get all these images into your actual sequence what you shot? So we do, you have all three of highlighted or how many clips you have in the timeline itself. You right click change duration of it you'll hit one for one frame per second and enter then from there it will decrease down to your running time you see in the timeline so hit play and roughly about seven seconds so that's how you go ahead and put your raw files in Final Cut Pro 10 or any other NLE you have and you bring them down into the timeline itself and Final Cut Pro 10 just updated their version to 10.1.1, I believe. So it has a 4K timeline built in already into it, which is nice. So 2.5K footage works nice well and very, very well in here as well. Very stable for the most part in here. So next session I'm going to take you guys to is working with the ProRes Filmock inside Final Cut Pro 10.